Hello there. Um, I just wanted to come on to make a video really quickly about um, what I call the pineapple tree method. If you're wondering why I have this weird little thing on my head. So um, no, I did not really come up with pineappling or even this method, but I've never heard it called pineapple treeing, so I'm going to take credit for that. So my hair is pretty short. It's about three and a half inches or so long. Um, and this is a wash and go. There's a lot of gel in here. And I really need this wash and go to last me until Friday evening. So uh, I want to preserve the little curls that I do have. Um, I don't want them to get flattened, smushed, ruined in any way. So um, what I do to maintain the, this look is pineapple tree. So it couldn't be more easy and it's actually not as uncomfortable as you might think it is to sleep on. So you see I've done this section here and you might think like there's really no reason to worry about this section right here because you don't sleep like that, like a unicorn, I don't know. You don't sleep like that. Um, but I actually do the, this section and this section purely for the stretch because the added benefit of pineapple treeing is that your roots remain stretched throughout the night and um, you can enjoy that. So I just let out the top of my hair just so I could show you. Also, it was feeling kind of tight. So I take one of these um, goodie bands and this is the type that is completely continuous. Like it looks like, you know, maybe a really, really tiny cut off piece of pantyhose. Like it actually has no seam, like not even that glue seam. Um, and I prefer to use these and I found it really difficult to find them. So I don't know if they're, they've killed them or not, but I hope not because I love these and I hope to find them somewhere else. As soon as I find them somewhere else, I'm going to buy them. So you just do that and I just loop around twice. If you're wondering why my hands are greasy, it's because I just oiled these um, bands so that they won't sap moisture from my hair. So I'm just going to take this section here and you'll, you'll sort of get the hang of how much hair should go into a section. And you know, the longer your hair is, the fewer sections you need to make. So I'm taking basically all of the hair in front of my ear, but under this section. And, and then I pull the curls out as much as can. And then I move on to the next section and do about the same thing over here. Like, I mean, there is a, for my hair length, for how short my hair is, there's, you know, a, a certain amount that I have to have. I can't have any fewer than about eight or nine of these puffs little pineapples um, just because I can't get my hair to reach that far and get a good result um, so this always is like sort of tricky I'm always wondering like where to start partitioning so yeah and I mean I try not to do too much combing or separating and like don't I don't want to go into the root and create a part what I want to do is take the curls and sort of allow them to sort of go where they want to go and tell you which curl is a curl and what is okay with being separated um, because you don't want to break up the curls you want them to clump and stay together safety in numbers so just one and two fluff and move on and so if you feel if you if you feel around at the end and you feel like there's you know there's like a couple curls in between that are sticking out like if it's just a couple of curls don't worry about it because they're not gonna get squished anyway and if they do it's just a couple of curls
no big deal. So this is my nighttime routine for wash and goes, which is mostly what I do nowadays because twist outs are not really working for me very well. But I also did this method when I was wearing a twist out frohawk. And that worked out really, really well for another reason, which was that um, it really stretched the frohawk. And, you know, since you're doing, you can, you know, sort of make it happen like this way. It really helped me um, shape the frohawk and really helped me shape the frohawk. And uh, it was way quicker, easier, and more awesome to just do that, like repeat the style in the morning because the hair was already doing what it, what I wanted it to do. So I'd say any, any curly hairstyle that you have, if you have short hair and you want to maintain it and you want to stretch it out a little bit, try this method. So I'm going to move the camera into better lighting and sort of show you what it looks like. And then maybe move it out of better lighting and just do a little turn around. So that is my pineapple tree method. I'm going to go to bed now. And I hope that you found this useful. Bye.